Welcome friends. Thank you so much for pressing play and joining me today for this cardio strength full body workout. We're going to be getting down on the mat a little bit later, but we're going to start off standing doing some strength and balance work. So with no further ado, let's get rolling. We're going to get three big breaths. We inhale up and we exhale to bring the arms down. Let's lengthen up through our spine. Exhale, pressing the air down, melting the head up, leaving those arms up high. We're gonna bend the hips and lift. Very simple squat. A squat and a press up. Let's press up through our heels and make sure that we're working the right muscles. We do not want our knees out past our toes. Wanna to keep those knees really safe. Lower and lift, yes. Thank you so much for being here with me. Good, we're gonna lower and bring the arms down. Our arms are now making a big circle shape. Yes, awesome. And we're gonna add on a knee lift here. Other side here. So squat, lift, knee. Squat, lift, knee. Drop those hips, raise. Keep that breath moving. Breathing is so important. It really aids us in accomplishing the moves that we're doing. Good, and we're gonna to transition to lifted with some basic knee lifts. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hands to hips. Good, so we're gonna start off with a very simple squat, lunge, squat, side. Squat, step out, pressing back in. Ah, good. Working the big muscles of the body. That's how we get our heart rate up. That's how we build strength. Yes. The glutes, the quads, the hamstrings. This is how we do it. Good, holding out, pressing up. So I'm gonna keep a straight leg. Keep this outside leg bending and pressing. Again, pushing off with the heel taking most of the work. Good. Weight shifts, lands in that heel before we press off again. Press it up. Good, and now we're gonna hold that leg up for some mini presses with a little balance challenge. You got it, lift, squeeze, reach that leg long. Four, three, two, one. Back to squat, lift, off to the other side. Good. Squat, press, side squat, press. Good. Fantastic work. We're trying to keep the torso lifted. We don't want to fold forward. Keep those shoulders back. Lean off, press. But it's a nice abductor move, leg out to the side. We need to strengthen those muscles. We tend to use the other directional muscles more than the side here. Pressing up, out and up. Squeezing that outer glute and the obliques to lift here. Press it up, lift. Good, four. And three, press it up, two. Let's hold it. Mini presses right here. Reach those arms out. Good, standing like soft. Press, press, press. Four, three, two, one. So we're gonna do a lunge, cross, bring it back and in. Same leg, lunge, cross it back, bring it back and in. So three little taps with that back foot. Step back, cross, and bring it up. Straight back, cross, straight back, in, and a couple more here. Good, we're gonna step it back and hold for some pulses. Pulse, 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 good. Four, three, two, one. We've got another side. Step, cross behind, step, and in. Yes, bring it in, step, cross, back and in. Ah, getting 
lots of good glute work here. And again, weight is in the heel of my front foot. Back, cross, back and in. Great glute work here, guys. Yes. Woo! Standing tall through your torso. Keep that movement going. We're in this together. Good, the next time we bring it back, we hold and we pulse here. Find in our balance. Bring those arms out if you need to. Pulsing down, down, down. Good, are you breathing hard? With me, because I'm breathing hard. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Fantastic work. Thank you for joining me. Working hard together. We'll be so glad we did this. Good, reaching up, bringing those arms down. We are going to swan dive. So I want you to hinge from your hips. Arms fall down towards your toes. Enjoy the low back stretch as you hollow out your belly. And then rolling up for shoulder rolls. So this is a forward curl, shrug up, bring it down and back. We are looking for a good bit of movement in our shoulders here. So forward lift, back and down. A couple more big shoulder rolls. <laughs> yes, so just make sure you're not um, missing out on your full range of motion with these shoulder rolls. They should feel very energetic. Your back should be engaged, chest expanding as the shoulders go wide and down. Awesome work. There we go. Good, so we're gonna turn to one side, reaching our arms out, lengthening that leg, and then we're gonna hover it up. So hovering here in a balance, or the toe could be down either way. We're gonna go ahead and draw that knee in and find a tuck and a hollow of the belly before we stretch out for our next one. Good, and balance is a challenge here, so you can always have a supporting um, something here. Oh, I need to hold on to hollow, tuck, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, think C curve the spine, pull the belly button back, lengthen, tuck, reach, tuck, and reach. Good, the head could be in part of it as well. And reach, and tuck, and reach. Good, huh. last one. Bringing it up, finding some resistance between the palms of your hands, pressing down, and your leg lifting up. Guys, the obliques here are working like crazy. Exhale to press. Melt those shoulders down, activate your lats to do this. Those are those back muscles that are really spread clear across your shoulder blades. Last two, last one. Take that leg back to bent. Knees are right beside each other, arms hover wide and open. Your beautiful stance here. We're gonna take that lifted knee and we open it to the side. Try to keep the upper body held steady while we lift and open the leg. Exhale. And it's just gonna open right up to the side. It's another abductor move because that is so important. And balance practice is so important as we age. Oh, we wanna maintain good balance to avoid injuries. And bring it in and bring it down. Fantastic work, let's do the other direction. So remember we found our long diagonal line and then we hollow and tuck the knee in and pull the belly button back to our spine and we lengthen out. Your toe could be coming down to touch the floor or hover it up in the air. Good, and we reach and lengthen and exhale to tuck. Good, reach and lengthen, squeeze the leg. Good, and a couple more here. Reach and tuck, and it is a balance challenge. And open and lengthen, and hollow and pull your belly back. 
Good, this is standing abdominals for sure. Woo! And bringing our hands right here to create that oppositional work of bringing the knee up as we press the palms down into that leg. And that is creating lots of work, yes. Abdominal and oblique. Exhale, melt those shoulders, use your lats. Good, for the upper body, the arms are using the lats and shoulders to press down. And the lower body is using the obliques to press up. It's a very full body motion, last one. Bringing that knee back, feels so good. Good, we've got our nice, beautiful open arm stance. Knees are beside each other, and then we open out to the side. And we exhale and open out to the side. Good, balance challenge plus abductor strengthening. <sighs> Breathe with me. Last three, and two, and one. And bring it in and bring it down. Awesome work, okay. Changing our position, we're gonna come into a turned out toe, turned out hip joint for a little plie and a press. Find that turn out position where your hips, knees, and ankles can all align where they're not overstressed. So it may be a little bit more narrow. I was a little overzealous in my turn out there. <laughs> Good, so a couple squat plies here will help us figure that out. And now we're gonna start a little series. We pulse four, three, two, one. Walk out, four, three, two, one. Bring those legs in, four, three, two, one. Walk ourselves back, four, three, two, one. We pulse four, three, two, one. Walk four, three, two, one. Hop four, three, two, one. Walk four, three, two, one. Pulse those hips, four, three, two, one. Walk out, good, jump in. Three, two, one, back, good. Four little pulses here. Four, three, two, one. Walking out, hopping. Four, three, two, one. Walking back. Pulse four, three, two, one. It's our last one. Walking out, 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 out. Jumping four, three, two, one. Walking back and bringing it in. Fantastic work. Great work, guys. Let's move on. We are seated tall on our sit bones. We are gonna Hollow our tummy, roll ourselves back, squeeze the inner thighs together, and come to genie arms. From genie arms, if you can, straighten your legs, otherwise bent legs are fine. I'm gonna draw knee in, feel the ab work, release. Other knee draws in and connects, and feel the ab work, good. <laughs> We're gonna exhale to bring the knee in. Good, so we're rolled back, we are already feeling the work of supporting our upper body in this spinal flexion. The abdominals are having to activate and then bringing the knee up and making that connection only adds to the work. But it's awesome, it's a great ab move. Good, couple more here. You got it. Sink those abs and tighten them and let's go quicker. Good, we reach and reach. Good, those knees, could, the heels could be hovered or tapping down. Four, three, two, one, and reach them out. We're gonna slowly release ourselves all the way down to the floor. Stretch those arms overhead. Your belly gets that wonderful, expansive, lengthening stretch. And we are gonna sweep the arms around to be by our hips, and we're ready for some bridge work. Bring those knees in, find your fresh breath, exhale to tail tuck, peel those hips up, and right now you are feeling your glutes and your hamstrings, as you should, many little 
hip pulse as we get to the top of the move and we release a millimeter and squeeze up, up, little tiny lifts. Rear and hamstrings don't get much of a break here. Little tiny presses, good, lift, lift. Arms are supporting you, shoulders are helping you to anchor down, neck is long on the mat, and hold. Good, steady hips. Let's raise one leg to tabletop. All support coming from that opposite supporting leg. Lift, exhale, hover the leg up to tabletop. What we're doing is trying to keep those hips steady and even, even as we raise one leg and lower it, and raise another leg and lower it. So switching off without any hip rocking, stabilizing through our strong core to support our lifted leg. Squeezing the glute of the floor foot. Do you feel it? Isn't it wonderful? Our amazing human bodies working for us day in, day out. They are there for us all the time. We're taking out a few moments here to just do some wonderful, much needed self care. Alternating a little hip twist up and up. Twist, squeeze, side to side. Do you feel that glute squeeze? Feel that squeeze, squeeze. Good, here we're letting those hips come out of alignment to squeeze up that one side. Four and three and two. Last set, center and slowly release your spine all the way down. Lengthen those legs. Let's find a hamstring stretch. So we just worked our hamstrings. They were shortening, contracting, supporting us. And now we're just gonna give them a lovely stretch. Pilates is about not just strengthening our muscles, but then lengthening them also. So here we are, that's what we're doing. Flexing that foot, do a little bit of ankle movement. Good, catching our breath. Feel free to curl up your head, neck, and shoulders. Switch out those legs. This other leg, we're just gonna hang out here for a bit. Your head can be down, your head can be lifted, whatever suits you. Really reaching through the toes and through the heel as we raise our leg up nice and strong. And then we're gonna go into some mini pulses. So it's gonna be a pulse, pulse, switch. Pulse, pulse, switch. Here I do like to have my upper body lifted. You wouldn't have to. You could do it with a head down, but I do like the extra ab work of supporting my upper body in this rib cage curl. Two pulses and switch. So it's a sniff, sniff, exhale. Last one. Hug those knees into your chest, low back gets a nice release. And we're gonna float the legs to tabletop, squeezing the inner thighs together, finding that core support, locking in here in the torso. We're gonna drop one foot and lift it up and drop the other. Good, so while we're letting a foot lower, we don't wanna let our torso arch up away from the floor. We want it to be in neutral spine. Good, so it's gonna hover in its strong neutral while we lower and lift our legs. Good. Couple more here, shoulders are heavy. Feeling the abdominal work every time we lower and lift the leg. And now we're just gonna add on. We're gonna take that leg out, lift it, lower it, draw it back in. Other leg, reach it long, we lift and lower, and bring it in. Press, lift, lower, in, press, lift, lower, in. I'm supporting my head here with laced hands, and I'm rib cage curling up. Good, so my head should not be having to strain here. Press, lift, lower. We're just adding on to our abdominal work. When that leg goes straight, the lever becomes longer, creating additional work for the core. Good. And last one. 
and we're gonna go into bicycle. So we twist, twist, side to side. I'm peeling up a shoulder to try to make a connection between my elbow and the opposite knee. Twist, twist, reach, reach. Good, up in our tempo. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we did it. <sighs> Taking a big breather here. Thank you for working so hard. Palms down, a reverse curl. I'm squeezing my inner thighs together here. Fresh breath, peeling my tail up. Trying to isolate the work to be in my lower body and not have my upper body attempting to do much to help. Good. Tail tuck, peel. And last three. Last two. Tighten the abdominals, last one. And we are going into some knee circles. I'm still squeezing my inner thighs together, pretending like I'm more of a mermaid with one appendage rather than two. And I'm gonna reverse my circles other direction. Inner thighs working with that adductor connection. Last four, and three, and two, and one, and rocking ourselves all the way up to seated. We've got a very simple straddle going here. Fresh breath. So we twist and reach three, two, one, lift three two one lift our arms are reaching in opposition to one another it is a stretch for our spine for sure as well as our hamstrings three two one exhale three two one exhale three two one hollow the belly as you stretch over three two one and excellent work, excellent spine work. Seated really tall here. Activating the abdominals, melting the shoulders low. Arms straight forward, fresh breath. We're gonna exhale to reach forward and then we fold over and try to bring those forearms down to the rug, down to the floor. And then we stack our spine back up and reach. Fresh breath. We're going to reach forward with a straight spine. Then we fold the spine into flexion. Try to bring those forearms down. Slide ourselves back up to seated. It's our last one. Big inhale, exhale, reach. Bring those palms down. Try to bring the elbows down. Slide yourself back to seated. Excellent work. We're going to move into a new position. We are gonna be in a plank here. Finding plank, nice and long. Remember, a good plank is lots of upper body resisting out of the floor. Hit belly active, but spine active also. Where the, the muscles surrounding our spine. So holding a beautiful plank. Try not to have those hips too high unless you know you need to for the safety of your low back. We're gonna do a tiny little saw move, forward and back. Raise our heels, lower our heels. Rocking back and forth between the lifted heels and then the draw back. Keep those muscles in your abdom abdominal area active. Little rocks, forward, back. Last three, and two, and one. Raise those hips up. Find your downward dog pose. Good, a nice release, a nice break. Stretch yourself out and bring your feet about as wide as your hands. Good, from here we're gonna try to raise the arm, tap the shoulder, land it back down. Alternating sides and trying to not shift your weight too much from one side to the other. We're trying to keep those hips and shoulders square to the floor without a lot of rotation for this move. Last three. And two, I think we have one more. 
Good. Ha. Hands down. Let's bring it back to downward dog. A great recovery pose. Bringing yourself back one more time to plank. If you've still got some energy left, we're going to flex, point, flex, and land, flex, point, flex, and land. Do you feel the booty work as that foot presses up, up, up? One more each way. Yes, flex, point, flex, land. And we are holding our plank just because it's awesome. <laughs> and you can do it. We're doing it together. Bring those knees down. Give yourself a wonderful child pose. Stretch. Whew. Our palms are gonna be up. Our elbows are hanging wide. Our back feels really open and stretched side to side. Should feel wonderful after that plank. Good. Bring those fingertips forward. Lift yourself up. And what a great workout. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for taking a few moments to honor your body with some powerful movement. Movement is therapy, movement is healing, movement is what we all need to be doing. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed the workout, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe and share with a friend. See you next time.